Christopher Cottrell here, filling in for Darion. This week, we're gonna speak with Troy Woodry, CEO of Jetpack International. We're also gonna speak with Eric Scott, the pilot of the Go Fast Jetpack. Stay tuned, this is Hobbies and Hustles. We're here with Troy Widry, owner of Jetpack International. This is the man that's responsible for this whole thing. How does one just create a jetpack? We started researching it, and I was good at physics, so I understood general concepts of how it worked, and I brought in a couple friends of mine, uh, Dave Butler and John Hewitt. John Hewitt and I had been friends for years. Dave, Dave has been there through almost everything we've ever developed. Uh, with the jetpack and with GoFast. So both of those guys are engineer types. As a kid, there was a James Bond film that inspired you to create this? James Bond Thunderball. And I, I saw that movie and ever since I saw it, I wanted a jetpack. Tell us a little bit about Bell Aerosystems. Okay, uh, Bell Aerosystems built the first machines in the 60s, the first rocket belts. Uh, they did it for the military, and when we went to build our jetpack, we looked at some of their technology. And it was available on the internet, and we talked to various people. We have a friend that used to actually fly one of the Bell Aerosystems type rocket belts. So, we researched them and learned that technology and built a better, longer flying machine, more like a sports car, a uh, lot lower weight than the Bell Aerosystems. money went into the development of your first jetpack. When I first saw an actual machine live in person, I thought, oh, that's $20,000 worth of machining. Five years later, about a million dollars later, is where we are. So how was the first flight? Uh, first flight was rocky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was in our uh, warehouse, mm -hmm. and we had it hanging from a cable and we had a cable on the ground because we were concerned it was going to go through the ceiling. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, so it was rough and then you just learn how to control it over time. You have something new coming out, turbine engine, correct? Yes. Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, we're working on a turbine model. We hope to have it out beginning in 2008 and our anticipated flight time is seven to nine minutes. You guys started an energy drink, Go Fast. Yes. How did that come about? We had Go Fast Energy Drink, and we developed the jetpack to help promote Go Fast. Okay. So, 
go fast is always on the edge, and what's more on the edge than a jetpack? What kind of encouragement would you give someone who's trying to pursue their dreams and to turn their hobby into their hustle as well as you did? The key to success is determination and long hours. And we've hit so many walls and had so many struggles, whether it's through the jetpack or uh, Go Fast Energy Drink. We're coming out with Go Fast Gum now. And you hit those walls and you want to give up and you can't. You just get up every day and work as hard as you can and the more you can focus on the project. We've accomplished this jetpack while we were building Go Fast, while we were doing a bunch of other things. If I would have been able to apply all of that focus to the jetpack, it would have happened quicker.